Where does, where does 10 under sit in your career? The lowest yet or...? Uh, lowest tournament round, yeah. Um, I've had a couple around my home course at Belmont when I was when I was younger growing up, but um, a few nine unders on, on tour, but yeah, that was... It felt super uncomfortable, but it, it kind of came easy, if that makes any sense, which it doesn't really, but um, yeah, a couple of putts early kind of dropped and then just wasn't trying too hard, essentially, which is... We just had one of those days where everything seemed to kind of go right. If I hit a bad shot, it'd just miss a bunker and end up in a nice lie. And knocked it up close and, and kind of just kept the momentum going. So two under through seven, you couldn't have had any inkling that that was about to happen? No, not really. I mean, like I said, the two bogeys I had were, were really, really easy bogeys from nowhere. Um, but I knew that course over there that... Um, if I could just keep hitting in the middle of the greens over there, I was putting well enough that you know eventually I was going to make a couple more birdies. But you obviously you never expect to kind of do what I did finishing because I had I had a bogey when I was at six under and got back to five, and then next thing you know, birdie, birdie, eagle, and you're at nine under and or well, ten under, I should say, no, nine under, and you know the rest of it's history. So it kind of it can come up that quick. You've trodden an unbelievable path to get here. Have you even had a chance to contemplate what this might be? No, I just, like, like I said, was, I've um, started working again with, with a head coach that I worked with years ago and, and we're trying to kind of have this as a building year for me to just go out there and, and work on my mental game. Because I know I've been playing well for the last two years, I just haven't been playing enough golf. And um, just trying to lower the expectations again and, and kind of get back to where I was. And obviously today it worked. It's not going to work every day this year, but if it keeps working this week, it'll be great. If it doesn't, then it's just to you know, just keep building on that for the next couple of weeks. Having five events in a row is obviously great too, because that takes a lot of pressure off rather than just having one big event and then sitting down for three weeks doing nothing. So, um, And the lack of golf is just through effectively no card for quite a while. Yeah, no card for a while, for, especially for the last two years. Um, before that, injuries. Um, I actually tweaked my back Sunday before I came down here and, and didn't know whether I was going to be able to tee it up. I went and saw an osteo in, in Melbourne and um, was able to kind of work that out and didn't get a practice round until Tuesday afternoon and uh, just played 18 holes. And, and the backs felt really good the last two days, thankfully. But yeah, I was kind of thought it was going to be one of those weeks where I, some, somehow the timing came out and my back went out. But um, yeah, it's, it's worked out well. What's the uh, osteo's name? You might get a free uh, free subscription there forever. Uh, T Tina Mayer. She knows oh, everyone. Yeah. She, she works with a bunch of people. So yeah, yeah she's, she's really good at what she does. And, and I went from 25% to 90% in 24 hours. So it was good. So was today almost a part of turning low expectations into, into something special without mate pushing it sort of thing? So, yeah, it's pretty much exactly what it was. <laughs> um, I think if I hadn't if I hadn't been doing the work with Moose, it'd be um, I probably would have had a lot more anxiety. I would have been trying to play really well the first round, first event of the year, and you know these things are pretty important now. Being you know married and family, and 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 all the money counts. Uh, whereas when I was younger, I didn't have to worry about it because I was playing well all the time. And and um, now I've got other responsibilities, and I've got more people to look after than myself. And and sometimes that can get a little much, but. Like I said, it worked well today and I'll keep on building on it and hopefully it can keep working a little while longer this week. You better explain Moose to us all. Brett Stevens. <laughs> we just call him Moose. I have no idea why he has the nickname Moose. Um, it's but, tennis days, right? Yeah, yeah. He, well, he played for Fitzroy. He played 133 games for Fitzroy. Yeah. But I'm not sure where the Moose came from. He might have told me already. Pete Sampras? Yeah. Yeah, he worked with That's Pete Sampras forever. Uh, for, for a while. Um, works with a lot of tennis players, a lot of a uh, couple of surfers now. So right. He kind of spreads himself out amongst all the different sports and he just definitely brings a different perspective to to the mental side of things. He doesn't the golf part is, is my department and but in between shots is, is really his department and, and it definitely has helped me a lot. Are you I mean we still always refer to you as Newcastles. It's not your home base though really is it? No, I moved back to Texas when I got married a couple of years ago, and uh, we're in San Antonio now. So it's um, it's been a bit of a lifestyle change again. But we're closer to my wife's parents, and I get get along really well with with both of them, and play a lot of golf with my father-in-law, who's who plays in the Champions Tour. So it's that's been really good for my golf. You've got a free reign to sort of come down here and try the five weeks in a row and not have any hassles. As far as 
uh, like getting away from Texas? Like you, it's just a knock yourself out, or have you got your family with you? Well, uh, my wife's coming to New Zealand. Okay. So yeah, she's. Um, we had a little bit of time here before Christmas, and then we went back there for Christmas, and then she's coming to New Zealand for two weeks, and then back to the states to to pretty much sit down and decide what I'm going to do the rest of the year because I, I haven't really got a game plan after these five events and we'll see how this goes and kind of assess it and go from there. I know you don't want to think too far ahead but if you were to snag a car would that change what your world became? Uh, yeah, yeah well I'd, I'd love to play in Europe. I'd probably rather play in Europe at the moment than I would play on many of the other tours other than obviously the US tour it'd be, it'd be nice to get back there but I feel like the European tour suits my game, courses like this and, and just a little bit of different golf to some of the golf I've been playing for the last two or three years and those Monday qualifiers get old quick so I'm kind of pretty sick of them. Can you risk having a surf while you're here? I had a surf four days before I came here in Newcastle and then my back went out on <laughs> Sunday so I don't know if that's if that correlates or what but no I think I'm probably gonna stay out of the water now for a couple of weeks and just just play golf. Good man, congratulations. Thank you. Cheers.